did just get a tweet, 6.34 a.m. from the president. It's called nine, business, by the way. Nine million. Do lives matter or do all lives it's matter? A higher life and a higher be- to the next generation of digital storytellers. Day-to-day basis working in this program is show up for class, do the work, do more work, and then finish your day with more work. This course will challenge you, this course will make you cry, this course will make you bleed, this course will make you want to rip out your hair, but it's worth it. It's like every time Healy gives us the amount of work that he gives us, I put in as much time and energy and work as much as possible into that. If you start to fall behind, it's like a house of cards. It just all falls apart. It's not like other classes. Like you have to touch his work every single day. One of the things that it's that this field has for me in particular is that it combines my love of music, it combines my love of art and timing and putting everything together to tell a story. As a communications major, you can uh pretty much create anything that you want in, in your own realm, which is awesome. So you can tell the story, you know, find your voice, tell your story. You can tell your story the way that you want to. What I try to get my students to feel is the passion that I feel. For them to understand that it's not just a slogan. Finding your voice is about finding your passion. It's about finding that, that one thing that drives you, that makes you excited, that brings you know, energy into your life, and then trying to capture that story in such a way that other people can appreciate it. You have to take it one step at a time because you're constantly learning something new. If you overwhelm yourself by trying to cram all the information, you're, you're just going to set yourself up for failure. But every day when we come in, Healy reminds us that, okay, we're going to do one thing at a time and we're gonna learn one thing at a time, so that way when we have these big projects that he gives us, we're not gonna be overwhelmed. Just putting in that time and work and effort into just that one thing and getting each and everything down as much as you can. It's almost like a rush within itself being in the studio because you know you're alive. Once you get to that part, that's when you know that um, Hilly's teaching you different things in different aspects and basically teaching you like what you would do in the real world. And like really like what the whole field is about is like you either got it or you don't. Time management, number one. Being in that time and time management. Time, like you were running out of time. I, I would say you got to put time on task. It's time on task. The more time you put in, the better you're going to get, the better your stories get, and the more effective they're going to be. I was very interested in this program because of what the program has to offer. It's hands-on training, and I actually know a lot of people that have been to four-year schools that don't even learn the stuff I've learned until their last semester. And I get all these semesters chock full of knowledge. It made me stop and look at how things are made. You know, I can't watch a, a commercial or a movie in the same fashion that I used to <laughs> without stopping to say, oh my God, how did they do that? <laughs> I'm able to express myself in such a creative way, which is why I really love this program. Every advice Healy tells you, every deadline he says, everything he says to do, do it. Do not think you can cheat the system. Do not think you can beat the timelines because you won't. Desire to be heard and desire to tell other people's stories comes from your soul. That's the important thing. Most people know about Healyisms. There's many of them out there. Like ladies, ladies, please like to get us into the class. And of course, it's not all ladies. There's some guys there too. Are you sure you're good? Are you sure? And I was like, yeah. I wasn't sure. <laughs> time on task, time on task. Can't bang that puppy out. Like when you have a paper. All you see is this tall man just come through the side, not even like walking straight, but literally one foot in. I'm off like a brown dress. Oh, he was out. I was dying. He's pretty funny. He could have very dark, twisted humor, but he's very compassionate. I try to be funny because I try to create an environment of ease. My job is to guide you into a um, situation where you want to learn. He's almost a perfectionist. No, scratch that. He's a perfectionist. You know, as the saying goes, if you do something you love, you'll never work a day in your life. Creating the thing 
that you want. It takes way too much time and you have to be way too much of a perfectionist in order for it to compete in, in a world where people can watch anything on YouTube. You can't spark notes this, okay? You actually have to do the work. This is hands-on training. So it's much about your work ethic in terms of what kind of professional do you want to be? Do you want to be somebody who really is going to be known in the field as being excellent? Or do you want to be someone who wants to be, you know, just getting a paycheck? Being a, a, an artist. It is basically like... Your mind, your soul, technology, and your vision to create what it was you wanted. It, Scott does not give out A's. Every teacher should be like that. It should be difficult to get an A. You should really have to put in ultimate effort because that's what an A is. It stands for excellence. It's hard because he knows whether you deserve it or not. I've gotten an A in his class and I've also failed the class. The difference between the two is how much time you put in to those classes. <laughs> you have to earn your A. I have gotten an A before. You can check my records. You can check my transcripts. I definitely have at least one A in Healy's class. If making stories and creating stories and editing and doing that kind of stuff excites you and you think, yeah, I can do that too, then this is the program for you. You have to know how to uh, use the equipment, such as the lights, such as all of, everything that's in the studio, okay? Your cameras, you gotta know how to use that. Video production was my favorite class in this program because not only just like use the cameras or just uh, be in the back, we would switch places and learn every part of each area in video production, like the soundboard, like I said, the cameras. Infuse sound effects and um, music and all different components and it was just, it was fun being really creative and seeing the end result. We had to make a story and use a bunch of different voices and characters and I did The Walking Fred and it was kind of like a spin-off of The Walking Dead and I remember taking like something as ordinary as paper and crumbling it and sticking like a pencil in it and it sounded like uh, blood gushing out and just from using simple objects in that project I made something sound gross and made it sound real. Being an actual director and telling everybody where to go, being a TD in AD, and the, working in the teleprompter as well, just like all of those areas and just working with them more than once, that's what I really like about video production. You need to be really self-disciplined, to have excellent time management. You really need to stay focused, number one, which is not easy for me. You know, it's hard when you have other things in your life, like most people. Future tips for future students. Everything you do in this class is cumulative, so it's like everything you learn on the first day, you need to know on the last day. You have to like learn how to like really manage like your social life and like, you know, just like college life in general. Meditate on what you want to do before you take one step in, in any direction. And don't be afraid to ask. Ask questions. Healy loves it when you ask questions because that makes him know that you're learning something and that you're actually thinking about what you're learning. It's an amazing process to see what, what real teachers and real advocates for a field can do for a student. So I want to thank them from my bottom of my heart for that. You never know how far uh, what you teach someone will go because as you teach someone, they teach someone, and it goes out like that. So all I can be is the impetus. I can be the, the prime mover of inspiration. I can be the, the flint that starts the spark.